So yes. it was just concerning him. That but Jesus is high. God, so everything concerns well, him. Well, I, I don't agree that Jesus Christ is the most high God. I disagree with you on that. He's the son of God, absolutely, but he's not God himself. But that's an entirely but, different. But to me, I, that, that, that believes he's God himself, it makes sense to me. It don't make sense to you, of course. But, but, here, but here, here's the thing, though, because you're misrepresenting me. I used to believe that because I was raised in the Catholic Church and the Saturday Adventist Church. So I used to believe that eight years ago, but then I studied. I actually, let's unlike other Christians, I actually picked up the Bible and read it, and I came yeah. to a different understanding. Well, let's not talk about what I believe. Let's talk about what you believe for a little bit. Um, uh, sure. You know, Bible aside, so you're just a human living on this planet, so to you, there's no afterlife. I, I didn't say there's no afterlife. Of course, I believe there's a kingdom of heaven, but I don't believe people go there right when they die. The Bible teaches and you go into a state of unconscious. Don't Don't reference any. You said you don't believe in the scriptures, so you can't. Well, don't when, reference when any of them. When, when that that one part that. You said you don't believe in the Bible. You said you don't believe that Jesus is he God, so you're not that. a Christian. He never said that. He said he is a Christian. You can't, you, no, you have to believe in Jesus, that he's the Lord and Savior to be a Christian. Now, okay, can, can, I, can I answer that real quick? Here, here's the thing. Here's what you have to understand. I said Jesus is not the supreme God. However, when you read the Bible, there's instances where it calls humans God. Uh, if you go to Psalms chapter 82, verse 6, it says, ye are gods, the sons of the Most High. So it depends on the context. Of course, that doesn't mean humans are gods and the concept of the supreme God that created the world. So is Christ a God? Technically, but he's not the supreme God. That's if you what, don't believe point. that Christ is the only, not only the supreme, but the only one, he's the only one, just one God, Jesus, that's it. Does the Bible? If you don't believe that, you are not a Christian. You okay, are here, here, here's the, here's whatever the you make up in your own head. Hold, hold on, hold on a second. Here, here's a video to knock out. Does the Bible call Satan a god? Knockout. You, we all gonna agree the Bible call Satan a god, right? So does that mean? No. That, what's that mean? All right. So there's the uppercase G and the lowercase G. The G, as in God, goddesses, is used to refer to the they're like the little G, and he is referred right, to as right. a little G, just like we were. You right, are right. God, but it, but it calls him it calls him a god, though, right? You, we we can at least have the decency to agree. It calls him that, even though he's clearly not on the supreme level of the Most High God. We can agree on that, right? Or uh, okay, so Satan uh, was perfect until there was iniquity found. Well, well, where, where does it where does it say that in the Bible? That's another thing we'll disagree on because I don't believe Satan was kicked out of heaven as a glorious angel. I, I don't find that in the Bible, but that, that's a different conversation. The Bible says that Satan under God's authority. So in John 20, 27 to 29, then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand in my side. Do not disbelieve. Believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you've seen me? In other words, he saw God. Right. Now, now, once again, Jesus is a God, but he's not the supreme God. So that, that's where we're disagreeing. As I've proven, Satan is a God, and the Bible also calls men gods. But obviously, they have different contexts. But like, say, for instance, right, I quoted you guys a verse, Psalms 82, verse 6. It says, ye are gods, the sons of the Most High. So obviously, we can, agree, we can agree that the Bible calls other things other than the supreme God, God. But obviously, we can agree that that doesn't mean they're on the level of the supreme God, right? right. Philippines 2, 5 to 7, have this mind among yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus. We thought he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, take the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. So in other words, that's God. Okay, now now before I drop, because I, I got to get going in a couple minutes, but before I drop, the brother mentioned that Satan, like he fell from heaven and, and all that. Could you just tell me a little bit about that before I drop in five minutes, if you could? Satan or Lucifer uh, is a genderless being that is perfect and and that is perfect in all his ways, except for his iniquity that he wanted to be God. 
So hey, here's the other knockout, though. But it calls, in Isaiah 14, where it says Lucifer, it says it calls him a man. But you said he's genderless. Yes, he's a genderless being. Yes. But why does it call him a man, though, in Isaiah 14? Uh, he has the ability. He can take the form. Like right now, I believe that Satan is vesseling inside of Barack Obama. I think he is Barack Obama, Satan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, well, like I, I literally I, I, think that Barack Obama is Satan in the flesh, oh, but I, Satan I, I, himself I, 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 is a spirit. Okay, but 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 anyway, well, where does it say that Satan? No, is in John ten thirty, it says the Father and I are one. That tells you that they are the same. Uh, okay, but, but we're not on that topic anymore. We moved on to Satan before I got to drop off because he yeah, said it was really did. interesting to me. So I wanted to give, give his two cents yeah. on. Jesus is God. So yeah, Barack, he has uh, Michelle, which is his bride, which is actually a man, Mike. a transgender man. Mike. So yeah, so they're trying to uh, create a mirror world to where the transgenders are, uh, that's true wow. Satanism. But how does this go back to Satan being an angel in heaven though? Like, like that's the initial conversation, right? Because in because the Jewish Bible, it's translated that Jesus saw Satan fall in the Hebrew, original Hebrew it says as Barack Obama. Barack <laughs> Obama. Bolt of lightning, Barack Obama. That's for uh, Barack here, Obama here, here, is Satan in the flesh. And if <laughs> Satan's real, and Ob we know Barack Obama's real, so Satan's real. If so facto, Jesus real, yeah. Where did evil come from? Satan, right? Evil itself. Uh, evil comes in the absence of God. So what do you think about Isaiah 45, verse 7? It says, I, the Lord, create light, create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Yeah. But you said it's the absence of God, but God said he makes it. Well, God just existing is creating evil because without God is evil. So if you choose to follow something that's not in God's will, you are doing evil. There's only two choices, God or the devil sin. Not even the devil, it's sin. Not It's like either with or without God. It's not, you know, and Satan is a facilitator of sin and will guide you away from God. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. disagreeing with that, but but I, I, what I'm saying is we can agree that God made evil, not Satan, because the Bible says God did, right? We can agree on it? Yeah, Satan has no power to create anything. All right, well, that, hell, that's something we agree on, so that, that's pretty good. We can agree on that. The Bible says, say, for instance, for the audience, you can read Job chapter 2. Satan had to go to God in heaven, which, by the way, wait a second— how the hell is he in heaven with God if God cast him out of heaven? But that that demolished the whole idea the brother believed. But if you read the chapter, he had to get permission from God to bring evil upon somebody. So that, that cuts that doctrine there. The devil's under God's authority. There's no fallen angels from heaven and, and all that. I, I used to believe that, so I know where you're coming from. But after reading the Bible for myself, I found that that was, uh, you know, it didn't stand up to the scriptures. Well, the fallen angels are designed, uh, they want to lure you away from God because they want Satan Lucifer to be God. Well, they how, think, how that, they think that Lucifer is better than God, should that, 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 that Lucifer should be God. That's what they think. So, why do the, the demons fear and tremble at Christ and that God? Say, for instance, if you read, what is that scripture, Mark the fifth chapter, the demons trembled and obeyed Christ more than then also 1 Kings 22, 18, and 19. A demonic spirit went to God, and God gave him permission to go and bring evil upon a certain king. So the demonic spirits and the good spirits, those are all what people call angels. They're, they're all on the God's side. He can he has spirits on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. What people call angels on the right hand, on the other hand, is the demons. But they're all under God's authority, going by the, the precepts that I've um, I've given. That's why they had to obey. You could agree on that. So Satan was able to procreate, therefore he can create. 
No, he wasn't able to procreate. The Bible says in Luke 20, 27, that angels and all are Satan is a genderless being. John, I calls him a man in Isaiah 14, so it can't be genderless. It says, I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have seen with your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, we were not born of fornication, and we have one father, God. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. But I proceeded forth and came from God. Nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar, the father of it. But because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicted me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear, because you are not of God. Now, quick question. Christ called Peter the devil. Does that mean that, that Peter wasn't an Israelite? He was actually an offspring of the devil? He called Peter what? Bring up the verse. Read it. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know that one off the top of the head. But if you go in the New Testament, like what, after the, the supper, right after they had the Last Supper and, and Peter wanted to deliver Christ, Christ told him, you know, get behind me, Satan. You know, I have to go and fulfill what I got to fulfill. Somebody can look that verse up for me. But he says uh, he calls Peter Satan. Right? That obviously doesn't mean that Peter is literally a devil. It's a no, I don't think he would call Peter Satan. You need to that verse up. All right, give me a second. I'm hoping I don't get kicked off stream. Because sometimes if I leave the app, it might. So just give me a second. Somebody else can speak while I look for it. All right, I found it. I found it. Give me one second. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 23, it says, But as he turned, he said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an, an offense unto me, for thou saberest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. So he, called, he told Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. And it's in red letter there, so he called him Satan. Yeah, he's, telling that Peter that he's, Satan. he's saying that Satan is influencing Peter. But he said, he said to Peter, Christ is talking to Peter. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. So he, yeah, because he's saying that Satan is manipulating Peter. But, but, how, but how can you say that if you haven't even read the verse I'm talking about, so you don't know the context of it? Because you've just read me it. But you've, you're not familiar with the verse other than me just telling you it now, right? You've just read me it, and I remember what you're talking about. Okay, okay let, let me read this last part of the red letter. It says, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art any offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. But let me read verse 22 so you get the context of what's being spoken. Verse above it, it says, Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, If it be far from thee, Lord, this shall not be done unto thee. But he turned and said unto him, He said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. So he literally said that to Peter. All right, I can answer your question. So Satan refers to the uh, collective enemy. Uh, Lucifer refers to the angel. And the devil is just a misrepresentation of, just like a cartoonish representation that the media created, kind of. Yeah, the first thing you said, I agree. When Christ called him Satan, Obviously, he's not calling him literally the devil. It's just in that stance, he was going against him. He was the adversary in that conversation. So that's why he used the word uh, Satan. But going back to the conversation, that's why I brought it up here, because I wanted to ask you based on what you read. 
about them being offsprings of the devil, the father being the devil, I'd say that's not literal. So then they asked her, wait, when, they, when Christ calls Peter the devil or Satan, does that is that literal? And the answer is, of course not. So why would we say that's literal? And by the way, none of you have proven to me that Satan was an angel in heaven and got cast to the earth in the fight with God. I, I'm still waiting. For How that. am I going to prove that to you? Well, I mean, I mean, you don't have one verse you know on it. It's one. Well, I mean, I'm trying to explain uh, to you uh, the verses that I know. What about Isaiah 14? You know that chapter, right? Lucifer, right. Well, well, what well, I'm trying to I'm trying to paint a picture in your head of what it is. The correct. You know, but the problem is you're not painting the picture because I was raised with that picture and I just seen it. Yeah, you've chosen listen, what you've chosen to do is not believe it, so you'll have to find how, how, how the hell have else. I chosen not to believe if I literally when I was 16 I read the entire Bible cover to cover, all 80 books, then I did it again at 18 and I read every read the Bible multiple times by themselves. So to say that I just am ignorant and don't want to look at it, I mean. And I'll do respect. That's just, you know, a dishonest statement. There's a difference in reading a book and actually believing a fact. Like, it's an emotion as well as a right, thought process, as well as an autonomous being. You construct an autonomous being, a spirit, and right. this spirit constructed is the Christ vessel. So you if you're not actively mystic. constructing that vessel, the new creature, if you're not actively constructed, you're living in the old flesh. It's Evidence. autonomous, brother. You did got you, yet to you say, Hold on. Did you say Christ missile or Christ vessel? I, I missed that. Vessel. Christ oh, vessel. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> you have to construct it. It's up to you. All right. All right. Let, let, let's. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> you have to construct it. It's up to you. All right. All right. Let, let, let's. No, it down. was a metaphor. The, the flood, a metaphor. Like, it, you wait, the flood. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. The second. flood. Wait, wait, just so I'm not mistaken, are you saying I perceive the flood's metaphor or do you perceive the flood's metaphor? Because I misheard you. The, the flood is a metaphor. metaphor. Uh, all culture, uh, uh, most cultures have a history of the flood. It's a metaphor for uh, constructing so your art. And... Wait, wait, so, so there was no global flood? Is that what you're telling me? Well, I mean, I don't know. Nobody lived back then, but uh, the Bible was written in allegory. And, uh, you mean no one lived back then? Okay, here, here, okay let, listen. Here, for, for the audience, for the audience, let, listen here, because you guys you may know. Here, 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 here's the knockout. This is, this is a spiritual knockout. The Bible says that Noah's Ark in, in uh, Genesis chapter 9, it came to rest on the region of the mountains of Ararat. Now, over in Ararat, Back in the, like the Second World War, there's pilots going over it, surveying the land, and they found a massive structure sticking out of the soil that's 500 feet long. So they, you know, to the modern time now, many people believe, based on the research that's been done on this wooden structure, it's dated to be about 5,000 years old, and it matches the description of Noah's Ark up to even the location where the Bible said that was at. If you don't believe me, look it up. Noah's Ark on Mount Turkey. Uh, excuse me. In, yeah, in, in, what you're saying is true. What I'm saying is true. It's possible for multiple things to be true at the same time. Okay. So, so what I'm saying is it's metaphorical. Let, let me understand this. So, so if there, if what I'm saying is metaphorical. What you're saying is it's physical, and I'm saying it's both. So okay. Let, let me understand. Yeah. How can it be both? So it's a metaphorical flood, but somehow a a 500 foot long boat was carried upon a mountaintop. What was it done by magic? Or it's called um, it's called a double meaning. Okay, so so now you're saying there was a real flood because you said it was a figurative of speech, is what you it is. Saying. It's it both. Is. It is both literal and spiritual. Well, what's the figurative part? Because I view it as being a literal event that happened in the past. So the figurative part is that you have to build your own ark. You have to listen to God who instructs you to build your own ark. And this ark is the vessel that you need to protect yourself from the uh, 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 figurative flood that comes in everybody's life. And if you don't have that, when the flood comes and it inevitably the will, um, for example, everybody knows the day that their mother is going, like your mother is going to pass away. Who are you going to be on that day? You have to construct that person. And if you haven't given any thought to it, I advise you to do it now because you have to build 
Who are you going to be? Who do you want to be at your mother's funeral? Do you want to be the person that stands strong, that's helpful, or do you want to be the crying man? Because whichever one you go to, you got to start building up today. Well, of course you want to be the first one. I mean, that that's a no brainer. So that's it, and the uh, you got to understand it both ways to get it. That's why I said, if you just look at it as a physical sense, it's not going to make sense to you. If you just look at it spiritually, it's not. It's both physically, physical and metaphorical. Satan is a real person, and it is identifies male. Yes, Obama. Wait, but, so, so I mean, Satan you've never seen Barack wait, Obama's wait, penis, Satan. have you? Oh, How do you oh, know oh, Barack Obama oh, has a penis? I, I don't know that, but let me let. Oh, since you brought that up, let me ask this. So just so I understand, so the devil is, he can be a man, so the devil can reproduce and, and get women pregnant. How do you know Barack Obama has a penis? I just answered and said, I don't know, but I said, why you brought that up? May I mention, this is a good time to mention, are you saying that the devil, he could impregnate women and have children? No, I'm saying yeah. that he's genderless. Like he would identify. That how, how, how the hell could he be a non-binary yes. identifying as a he? Of course, listen. Okay. Of course he could. Of course he could sleep with the. We have that in a. You want to be six four, right? Oh. Okay, but no, you're talking about uh, you're talking about Genesis chapter six, which that's a different topic. But hold on a second. Yeah, you, guys saying, you, you guys were saying that. That Satan's a fallen angel, and the angels, according to Luke 20, verse 27 on down, says that angels don't have sex. So either Satan's not an angel, or I mean, that that's a how do you get around that? Because Genesis 6 4 says what the, the angels that, that, that's, that, of the Lord, that, the sons of God are not talking about angels, but that, that's a entirely that's angels. Okay, so so why is it say in John chapter one verse twelve that as many as believe have power to become the sons of God? Because it, they're just identifying that they're like it's a demon identifying as. So, a so how so how can you say the sons of God are angels if it calls humans? The sons because of God? they're identifying they're being they're genderless beings that identify like Barack Obama identifies as a man, Michelle Obama identifies as a woman, and well, for, based for on what they identify as is what they are. So that's why they're genderless, but they're at the same time, they exist in the human flesh. They're actively working in our system as spirits through these people. Okay, say like Barack Obama, you realize that he was the one that caused the Hamas, like he perpetuated that, right? Like Hamas versus Israel. He helped I mean, perpetuate that. I mean, you're welcome to say that, but. You know, I, I disagree, but to be fair, I haven't looked into the information. Just so you're clear, like I get my news from the Daily Wire. So you're trying to disagree with me, Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, all those rich, famous, smart people. You are in opposition. You know, Ben Shapiro's wife is a doctor, right? What what, what does that have to do with anything? I'm sure in 2020, well, you're, no, no, you're people saying the, you disagree. That means, uh, did you know that Elon Musk also supports the Daily Wire? So you disagree with the richest man in the world. Now, I don't mean to boast, so, but look. Oh, but, well, well, wait a second. So, so what if you, you do know that um, that Elon Musk, he doesn't believe in the Bible, right? So, so you disagree with him on that? I said the Daily Wire. Wait, so, so now you, you also disagree with Elon Musk then by your own line of logic, right? On, I mean, that, on that some issues, but the core principle, no. <laughs> See, I'm a conservative a nice Christian. Thing, I'm a Christian, right? And it's okay that if we can get along as long as you're also, if you're conservative, not if you're the government. But if, if I, as a man, was to do it, it would be stealing. But if a group called government does it, it's now not stealing. How do you steal from yourself? The government represents the people. You are a person. You Dude, say you can I, steal I mean, from you, yourself. You, you, Dude, you're not. Wait, so so you believe the U.S. government and the wicked politicians in it? Oh, and, and Barack Obama back when he was in office. So they were representing you. Satan was representing you. <laughs> not all of them were wicked. Donald oh Trump. man. Oh uh, man. Donald he, Trump he, he is uh, conservative. Hey, look. Hey, look, my Donald friend. You, you are deep. Look, you are deep, but I am challenger deep. You're deep, but I'm challenger deep inside joke. So wait a second. So when Barack Obama was in in office. He was Satan, apparently, right? So he was representing you, just like you said. He was representing you when he was in office then, because he was the president, right? 
and you said they're for the people. Yeah, the people. I actually, uh, yeah. I mean, back when it, uh, I wasn't very old back then, but but he was still Satan, though, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I've completely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's oh, like a conspiracy that I believe. So wait, you know, wait, hey, you know, hey, brother, look, I, I'm not trying to make funny, but I really want you to acknowledge this. You just agreed that, again, according to you, Barack Obama is Satan. So you just agreed that Satan was representing you. Yes, uh, because really I believe, believe in America, right? You, but but where, where in the Bible do you speak about America? Well, I mean, I was a teenager. I mean, it's not like I had a comp. I'm 30 years old now, and and I'm like now just well, starting well, to comprehend well, politics. All the things, back all the things that kid, I did back when I was a kid. Yeah, I voted for. I wanted to vote for Obama, but I wasn't old enough. But I would have because I was brainwashed because the liberals target young people at colleges at, and they brainwash people. So yes, I was brainwashed by the radical left. Well, yes, just, was. They're still the brainwashing people. Well, just for the record, I'm speaking for myself, right? Not to put myself on a pedestal, but I've been teaching like this on YouTube since I was 14 and I've been, in, and I've been saying all the stuff I'm saying now since I was 12. Right. So I've been, you know, I've been around for a number of years, um, you know, in this truth, as I would call it. But, um, but, uh, but anyway, I, I just I find that amusing that you agree that when Barack Obama was in, in office, he was representing you as the devil himself. I mean, is it just me or does anybody else find that weird? As a Christian, you say that Satan represented you. I mean, come on. Because I was led astray. I believe Barack Obama, when he said he was going to do the right thing, that he was, and he lied to the people. And I was like 15 years old back then. And I was like, yeah, I want a black president. I want to end racism because I okay, believe let, let me, let me that the radical left perpetuated. There's no let, systemic let, let's racism. Use code language. Let, let's use code language. It was language actually to racist to vote for Obama because he was black. That was actually racist. All right, all right. Well, hold, hold on a second. Well, I would figure it's the, uh, the other way. People wouldn't vote for him because they don't want a black president. I would view that as racist, not the other way around. But anyway, I digress. So hold on a second. Oh, shit, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Just so we don't get the stream taken now, let's use code language. I call the thing that happened in 2020, I call it the Corolla. We got to use code language. That's how I do it on my page. So the, well, you're, you mean to tell me that the politicians that mandated everybody to put a mask on their face and go get a, a jabby jab in the arm, you mean to tell me that those people were serving the people, but yet now you have people three years later, young, healthy athletes dropping over dead? After these things, you mean to tell me that they were representing the people? Like if you're scared of YouTube, if you're scared of censorship on YouTube, why don't you just delete YouTube and go to X, wherever Elon Musk, he spent $45 billion to give you free speech. And okay, and here's he did what it. Now, it Disney don't really like him. Do Apple Music don't like do. him. But guess what? No, I'm, I think any man who says, oh, uh, at risk of getting censored, grow a set of balls, my dude. Say fuck YouTube like I do, and if they delete you, why don't you get your ass on Twitter and fight these people and grow a set okay. of balls for and free and speech? Here, okay, somebody shut him up for a second. Here's what you don't know. My YouTube account's been taken down about six times now, and I keep coming back and talking about the same thing. So your whole rant there literally, literally holds no weight. Just off of that fact, right there. Does anyone else want to chime into this conversation? I mean, you can't be telling me that you all believe in what this guy is saying. It's like nobody else has anything to say about this. Come on. No, it's just that we've been enjoying it, to be honest. And, you know, he keeps interrupting you. So I just... mean, hell, if you guys want, I can come back another time. You know where to find me. Look me up. Uh, end time teacher, you can find me on YouTube. The same yeah, because you're YouTube. too scared to use the X because you know people would uh, put it in. Put it, Put a stop to your shit like I am. No, no, no. The reason I don't no. use those is because the government uses them to spy on people. Maybe you didn't know about that. It's like, seriously, did you not know about that? That the government uses things like that? Like, here's another thing. You guys were talking about the iPhones earlier before I hopped I want on. the government you, to you spy know. on me. Uh, uh, I let me, give let, my let, information let me, to everybody and tell them MC Nemesis is on Amazon Music. You know why? Because I'll make a shit ton of money then. I hope the government takes all my info and says and puts it out that everywhere on every nook and cranny of the street that MC Nemesis is on Amazon Music. I hope they do that. 
Hey, well, uh, let me say this. MC Nemesis, I, I do got to give yeah. you this. Even though we've been hard on each other, I got to give you credit, man. I, I respect you that you were able to have a conversation with me. And we're relatively friendly. A lot of people are not able to do that. So even though we disagree, I do got to give you respect that you were able to have a conversation with me. And um, it's once again, I believe in freedom of speech in America, brother. Forty five billion Elon spent. Get off YouTube. Get on X. <laughs> Yo, right. ET. Yo, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. MC Nemesis, you enjoyed the conversation, but I felt like he interrupted too much. And I think I can take one more question if anybody got something. Follow me on X and we'll have some more conversation on X. But, but, but once again, man, I told you I don't have that because, you know, the, you know I perceive that the government's using that to get information. So I, I haven't used I, social but media. But yeah, YouTube's fine, right, right. You have to use something, right? So I'm not going to use 10. I'd rather use one social media app compared to using 10 of them. All right, brother. Well, when YouTube, saying. well, well, enjoy uh, censored speech. I'm going to go to X and free speech. I, I mean, sure, you're welcome to do that. that if that floats your boat, then you go And for keep that, talking man. about how you can't talk about stuff like, eh, at the risk of getting censored. So I ain't got to worry about it, that on it, it. Hey, hey nemesis, nemesis, dude. Yeah, but he's just you saying. Know, you're you're literally lying. Hey, John, no ball, you're bro. literally That's lying because I told, I told you I lost six channels due to censorship. And I am clearly shadow I asked how many stuff X gets accounts, 50 views not, compared to a year ago where it gets 400. I'm not even talking about your Twitter accounts because that's before Elon. I, how many X accounts have been deleted? I only had one of them years ago that I deleted myself because I didn't want to use that anymore. It's time so to stop money. YouTube. It's time okay, to stop for, for reasonable people, for reasonable people. The only way you can contact me is on my own personal Discord server or at my own personal Gmail address. Discord's run by you the Chinese contact. spying on them. Don't go to Discord. Do not go to Discord or TikTok. It's run by Tencent. Look it up. BlackRock. But, but, but you don't. Well, wait a second. You, so so, so you don't know my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So MC Nemesis, you don't have a problem with the Chinese government. Uh, you have a problem with that, but you don't have a problem with your own government spying on you. I mean, that's cognitive dissonance right there. Man. Why would I? That's the Americans. I trust wait, wait, the Americans. So, so you don't care. Well, hold on a second. So you don't care if your government's spying on you? You have nothing to say about that? You don't feel anywhere. I don't think that they should, but I know they will. But you don't have a problem with that, though, because you said it's America. So, you know, America stands for that. So I can't do nothing. I mean, is that not what you said? How are you going to stop the FBI from spying on people? I'm, I mean, you can't, but I'm saying it's hypocrisy. Or you'll have a problem with the government. I mean, I want to. Yes, I want to. If away. you want to stop the FBI, vote for Donald Trump and he'll eliminate the deep. All right, let, let me, the let FBI me ask you was question. made by the Democrats, Joe Biden and his okay. party. Okay. Are, are you reasonable? Let's just say the Chinese government is spying on you. What exactly are they going to do to you living, let's say, a million miles I think that away? you're unreasonable because you refuse to use X. That was a good question. That was a good question, ETT. Yeah, yeah. It's like, think about that. So, so if you're so scared of the Chinese government, what the hell are they going to do to you a million miles away? But you're not scared about the U.S. government that can have special ops break in your window in the middle of the night and take you and your family. You don't have a problem with that, though, right? Why would they do that? We have laws in place preventing them from doing that. What, what's this guy, Richard Snowden or something like that? You can look him up. But yo, I, I have I laws in place. I, 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 I yes, I agree. The There's corruption. That's why you got to vote for Donald Trump. Get rid of the deep state. All right, all right. That's cool. But hey, I got to get going. Thanks for the conversation. All right.